The president just wrapped up his Japan working visit and ninth foreign trip and is pressing the pause button on his trips abroad in the interim. Instead, he and his team will work closely and also with lawmakers to help investors set up shop early and easily. With new policies and legislation and follow-up on the pledges and commitments yielded from his trips abroad. PTV correspondent Naomi Tiburcio has more. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. has returned to the Philippines from a five-day official working visit to Japan, bringing with him billions of investment deals worth 13 billion U.S. dollars, with 24,000 job opportunities expected. This is the result of the 35 investment deals with Japanese companies involved in manufacturing, infrastructure development, energy, transportation, healthcare, renewable energy, business expansion, and many more. In Tokyo, the president was given an honor guard ceremony at the office of the Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The two chief executives witnessed the signing of seven key agreements on humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, infrastructure, agriculture, and digital cooperation. The completion of these projects, along with other ongoing large-scale official development assistance projects, such as the Metro Manila subway project and many more across the country, are expected to translate to better lives for Filipinos through improved facilitation of the movement of people, of goods, and of services. The Prime Minister promised a 600 billion yen assistance to help the economy of the Philippines achieve an upper middle income status. To support the economic development plan of the Philippines to become upper middle income country, I could pay that by March 2024, public-private assistance of 600 billion yen will be provided. In an interview with the media last night on the flight home to the Philippines, the president said that the discussion will be continued on every project that the Marcus Jr. administration has set in different parts of the world. This is why the president's foreign trips is planned to be temporarily halted. Because all of us, we are going to sit down and we are going to talk about each and every single project that we have talked about in Asia, that we talked about in APEC, that we talked about in EU, that we talked about in New York, that we talked about in China and now in Japan. Lahat yung kailangan natin balikan, isasayin natin ano pa talaga dito yung gusto natin, ano yung mas priority. He said the government will focus on amending the policies and laws recommended to the administration by investors and stakeholders to address the roadblocks to the growth of various sectors in the Philippines. One of the continuous discussions is the country's entry into the new visiting forces agreement with the country of Japan and the development of a tripartite agreement on security between the Philippines, Japan, and the United States. We have to be careful also because we do not want to appear provocative. Not what you want. Uh, ang iniisip ko lang, uh, yung ating mga fishermen, kailangan maputektan, kailangan uh, maliwanag na tayo sa Pilipinas. Talagang uh, we, are, we are patrolling our waters and making sure that uh, it is well recognized na yan ang talagang territory, talaga ng, na maritime territory talaga ng Pilipinas. According to the President, this visit confirmed the entry of the two countries into a new phase of cooperation. The results of the agreements in Japan is expected to be felt in the nearest possible time, which will help raise the standard of living of every Filipino. Naomi Tiburcio, For The Nation.